This is Pre-Calc 12, Chapter 7.5. We're going to look at sum and difference identities. If we have sine of alpha plus beta, this is equal to sine alpha times cos beta plus cos alpha times sine beta. And if we have cos of alpha plus beta, this is cos alpha times cos beta minus sine alpha times sine beta. And we have a couple more here for sine alpha minus beta and cos of alpha minus beta. We have uh, some less used ones, which is tangent. Tangent of alpha plus beta is equal to tangent of alpha plus tangent of beta all over one minus tangent of alpha times tangent of beta. And again, we have another formula for tangent alpha minus beta. However, these two are the most commonly used. So try to memorize these. The alpha minus beta differs by a minus sign. And because we have minus beta, sine is an odd function, which means sine of negative beta is equal to negative sine beta. And that's where we get the difference. Similarly for cos alpha minus beta, the sign changes because we have a sine beta and we have a minus b. Now you shouldn't take my word for it that these are true, so let's look at a proof. For cos alpha plus beta, we have alpha here and we have beta here. This is a right triangle, this is a right triangle. So cos alpha plus beta is OB divided by OP. So this is a right triangle as well. And OB is the adjacent side and this is the hypotenuse. So this is clearly true. From here, we can split up OA minus AB. So OA minus AB, this gives us OB. So we have OA over OP and AB over OP. And we'll just write down the reason here. OA equals OB plus AB. Now we have QR substituting for AB. Because these lines are parallel, because this is a right triangle as well, these lengths must be the same. Okay, so AB equals QR. Now, we have to use a little trick here. We're multiplying by one. So OQ over OQ is one. PQ over PQ is one. So we're not changing this one at all. We're just multiplying by one so that it looks different. On the next line, we rearrange. So now we have OA over OQ, OA over OQ. Well, this is cosine of alpha. And let's draw these in different colors. We'll draw this one in blue and this one in purple. Here we have OA over OQ and that was cos alpha. We have OQ over OP, OQ over OP. So this is the adjacent side and this is the hypotenuse for beta. So this is cos beta. Now we're looking at QR over PQ. QR over PQ. So this is sine, and by construction, this angle is equal to alpha. So this here we have sine alpha. Finally, we have PQ over OP. PQ over OP. So this is the opposite. This is the hypotenuse. So we have sine beta. 
and that completes the proof. This should be in blue, and this should be in blue. You can do a similar proof for sine alpha plus beta, but I'll leave that as an exercise for you. Using those rules, we can combine exact ratios to find more exact ratios. And so we're looking for exact ratios from the special angles. And there's only two more special ratios that we can find, and that's for 15 degrees and 75 degrees. Or in radians, this would be pi over 12 and five pi over 12. So 15 degrees we can get from 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. And this is pi over four minus pi over six. And for 75 degrees, we just take uh, 45 degrees plus 30 degrees. And this is pi over four plus pi over six. And we can go through the same exercise to do the remaining quadrants. Remember the 15 and 75 are your reference angles, and then we just use them in quadrants two, three, and four. So hopefully you should see the pattern here and how it's easily constructed. So we take the 45, add 90, 90, 90, and we're subtracting 30 degrees each time. Here we're taking 45, adding 90, 90, 90, and then adding 30 degrees each time. So when it says solve, it's okay to use the calculator if it asks you to round the answer. When it says use algebra to solve, use the algebra until you need to find the angle. Then you use the calculator using inverse trig. And again, this is the case if, it asks, if it's asking you to round. Find an exact angle. This means to use algebra all the way through. So here's an example, find an exact ratio. Okay, so we need to recognize that this is sine seven pi over four, cos pi over six minus cos seven pi over four times sine pi over six. Okay, so this is seven pi over four plus pi over six. And if you don't see it, we'll just write it here. So we have to multiply by this by three, we get 21. We multiply this by two, we get two. So 21 plus two is 23 pi over 12. Seven pi over four, so we have minus one over root two. Cos pi over six, we have root three over two. We have minus, but cosine is minus in quadrant three. So this becomes a plus. And again, we have one over root two. And sine of pi over six is one half. This gives us minus root three over two root two plus one over two root two. And this can be simplified to one minus root three over two root two. Let's look at another example using degrees. Find the exact ratios for 105 degrees. We need to recognize that this is 135 degrees minus 30 degrees. So we start off with sine. We're using the identity. And we can break this up into the component parts. We have 135 degrees. So sine is one over root two. Cosine is negative one over root two. Negative 30 degrees, we have negative half. And we have root three over two. So we do sine 
135, cos, negative 30, plus cos, 135, times sine, negative 30 degrees. This gives us 1 over root 2, root 3 over 2, plus negative 1 over root 2, times negative 1 half. And we get root 3 over 2 root 2, plus 1 over 2 root 2. This gives us root 3 plus 1 over 2 root 2. So for cosine, we can use identity again. We have cos 135, cos negative 30, minus sine 135, sine negative 30. So we have negative 1 over root 2, root 3 over 2, minus 1 over root 2, and minus 1 half. We simplify, we get negative 3 over 2 root 2, plus 1 over 2 root 2. And that equals 1 minus root 3 all over 2 root 2. Now here, to compute the rest, it's not a good idea to use the identities. We have sine and cosine. Everything can be derived from that. So tangent is sine over cosine. So we have root 3 plus 1 over 2 root 2 all over 1 minus root 3 over 2 root 2. And this simplifies to root 3 plus 1 over 1 minus root 3. The two root 2s cancel out. Cotangent, let's not use sine and cosine. Let's just work right off of tangent. We have 1 minus root 3 over root 3 plus 1. Remember, it's the reciprocal of tangent. And again, we'll use the reciprocals for cosecant and secant. We got 2 root 2 over root 3 plus 1. And we get 2 root 2 over 1 minus root 3. The next example, find the exact ratios for alpha plus beta given cos alpha equals 3 over 5 in quadrant 4 and sine beta equals 12 over 13 in quadrant 2. So we just use Pythagoras to calculate the extra side. Sine alpha equals negative 5 squared minus 3 squared all over 5. This is negative 4 over 5. We know that in quadrant 4, sine is negative. Now let's look at cos beta equals negative 13 squared minus 12 squared over 13. And cosine is negative in quadrant 2. So we have negative 5 over 13. Now that we've calculated sine and cosine for both alpha and beta, we can go ahead and use the identity. So sine alpha plus beta. We have sine alpha, negative 4 over 5. We have cos beta. That's negative 5 over 13. And we are adding cos alpha, which is 3 over 5, times sine beta. And this is 12 over 13. So we just multiply the numerators and denominators. In this case, we have 20 over 65 plus 36 over 65, and this is 56 over 65, 
and that can't be reduced any further. Let's look at cos alpha plus beta. We have cos alpha times cos beta. So this is 3 over 5 times negative 5 over 13. Minus sine alpha minus 4 over 5 times sine beta. This is 12 over 13. This gives us negative 15 over 65. And we have two negative signs, so that's positive 48 over 65. And this gives us 33 over 65. And this can't be reduced any further. From here, because we have sine and cosine, we can work out the rest. Let's look at a backwards problem. Find the exact ratios given cos 68 degrees times cos 82 degrees minus sine 68 degrees times sine 82 degrees. Well, we need to recognize that this is the identity for cos alpha plus beta. So we're actually looking for cos 68 degrees plus 82 degrees. So we're looking for cos of 150 degrees. 150 degrees is a special angle. The reference angle is 30 degrees. So we have minus root three over two. We have sine 150 degrees. And that gives us one half. Tangent 150 degrees equals minus one over root three. And the remaining Trig ratios are and recall that we're just doing the reciprocal. One last example. Find the exact angles for cos 3x times cos x plus sine 3x times sine x equals negative 1. And again, you need to recognize the identity. This is the plus sign. So we're actually looking for cos 3x minus x equals negative 1. This is cos 2x equals negative 1. 2x equals inverse cos of negative 1. 2x is equal to pi. So x equals pi over 2. Recall that the period equals 2 pi over b. So this is 2 pi over 2, and this is pi. So our answer is x equals pi over 2 plus pi n, n from the set of integers. So essentially we have pi over two, three pi over two, five pi over two, all the odd pi's over two. And that completes this lesson.